It's three to five years. You, you, you wait on the list, waiting for uh, somebody, uh, uh, a kidney to become available. Kirk Plant is grateful wife Stacy is on a transplant wait list at Chance Hospital Gainesville, but he knows it's likely a long road. He's hoping to shorten the wait by appealing to the kindness of strangers. On the back of his pickup truck window, a message asking anyone interested in giving the gift of life by donating a kidney to call. The message and number in bold purple. People talk to us in traffic and asking us what our blood type was, and, and we've had a pretty good response. Yeah. We get a lot of prayers yeah. from people yeah. as well, which, which we need, we need yes. The couple are parents of eight children, so when Stacy's diabetes led to kidney failure, it was a real blow. It's hard. I, I can't do a lot as I did before because I get out of energy real quick. Shopping even affects me. Stacy's now on home dialysis 10 hours a night every night. Her monthly supplies taking up almost an entire room in the couple's home. There's no kidney match in Stacy's immediate family, but Kirk is willing to donate to someone else in what's called a paired exchange. If yeah, if mine doesn't work for her, it could work for somebody else and we could help multiple people. Yeah. So if someone helps you, you're willing to help someone else in exchange. Absolutely. I'd be thrilled to donate mine to help somebody else if it would help Stacy. The truck sign may seem desperate, but Stacy says she is. Her family is. I'm hoping for a Christmas miracle. I just want to be around for my children and my family. I, you know, and without a kidney, I don't know how long I'll have. In Orange City, Volusia County, Clara Matz, West 2 News. Got to do what you got to do. Absolutely. Kirk says he's not the first to go public on the road with a plea for a life-saving organ donation. Yeah, he's heard success stories, which is why he remains hopeful, as is his wife. Mm -hmm. They both so, should. Yeah. yeah.